Hey everyone, my name is Samantha Wayne. If you are new here, this is my channel. <laughs> Let's make this as awkward as possible. But for those of you who have been subscribed for however long it may be, eight plus years or so, welcome back. We are talking about the sun in lupus. You guys voted and you shall receive. First, I do wanna say, if you wanna share this video, raise some awareness about lupus and why we can't go in the sun, please share it on Facebook or with your friends and family. And I hope this video is helpful to you all. So why can't lupus patients go in the sun? It's one of the first things that my doctor told me before I was diagnosed with lupus. She didn't even know I had lupus yet, but she had an idea, yet she still told me to avoid the sun because it is that, it can be that dangerous to your lupus and disease activity. What happens is, just like anyone else, when the sun hits you, it's creating a DNA response and it's damaging your DNA. That's why they talk about putting on sunblock just for regular people because skin cancer. But here it's something different in us. So with lupus, your body's always attacking yourself. Those antibodies that are supposed to clean things up are constantly attacking our cells, whether it be our joint cells, skin cells, etc. So when that sun hits and that DNA gets damaged, what's happening is you're basically calling those antibodies that want to attack us lupus patients towards that site. And that's why many times disease activity raises when you go in the sun or you get a skin rash because your body is reacting to that usual cleanup in a healthy person where it just da -da -da does its job and it's gone. But in us, it doesn't work like that. Our bodies don't function normally, unfortunately. That's the easiest way for me to break it down. I will share some articles below if you guys wanna read more into it. So that's what happens. And even if it feels like you can go in the sun and nothing is happening, if you have lupus, I have been told to avoid it because you can be damaging your organs inside, say your kidneys, for example, and you don't even know it. I have heard stories of people who have been in remission went out in the sun, enjoyed their summer, came back, and their lupus came back with renal failure. So it is so important to be careful. It sucks. I know. I feel your pain with that because I would love to go in the sun and get a little tan and even just be able to enjoy activities without worrying about how much exposure I'm getting. The next thing I want to talk about is how you can go about protecting yourself. First things first, sunblock. Sunblock is so important. We should be putting it on every day. Whether or not you have lupus, you should be putting it on even if it's a SPF 15 or one mixed in with your lotion or, or even your makeup. It is so important. So if you have lupus especially, even if you're just going to work, make sure you're putting it up here on your arms and anywhere that the sun's gonna touch you in the car because we do get that exposure in the car as well, even if it's tinted. Next, another great tip is UV clothing. UV clothing is very important as well. I have one article of UV clothing. It's a long sleeve shirt that I can put over anything. If I'm wearing tank top and shorts, I could just throw it over. If we go to the beach, I put it over my legs. I just like to carry it around with me because sometimes you don't know how long you're going to be in the sun. It's important to always wear a hat as well. Maybe invest in a UV hat and sunglasses with UV too. You always wanna make sure you're protecting yourself and if you are on vacation and say your friends or your family decide to go to the beach, make sure they are aware that you can't be in the sun for long and you have a plan set. And this is something that I always do. On a lot of my Instagram pictures, I get questions of, how are you in the sun? Da, 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 da. Be careful. And I am extremely careful. If you talk to any of my friends or family, you would know that I don't go in the sun. <laughs> and when I do, uh, like when I went to Miami, we would always go around dusk. So we would literally be there for an hour going into the dark and be on, sitting on the beach in the dark. 
So those are the reasons why it is important to protect yourself from the sun and ways that you can go about protecting yourself as well. So in the comments below, this is the best part, the discussion. I want you to share your experiences, what you experience after the sun, how it affects you and what you do to protect yourself or at least answer one of those. So I kind of threw in my tidbits throughout the video, but I am very careful about the sun because I have heard many stories of how it can affect people. Me personally, when I get too much sun, uh, the first time I realized this was Disneyland when I was in high school, I could not walk the next day. I was so fatigued and my lupus was just so mad at me. So. Yeah, I don't like going in the sun. I'd rather be healthy the next day than risk just getting sick because I wanted one hour of sun. Well, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for watching. I'll have more videos up soon. Boyfriend tag, apartment tour, and going vegan video. All of those coming up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'll see you all soon. Bye.